Hi, it's me Tutor Binod. In this video, we are going to talk about the problem regarding two-digit numbers. It's one of the popular problem in high school mathematics. Let's begin. In this problem, the sum of two number is 15. If the greatest number is 9 more than that of the smaller one, find the number. Let us say the numbers are let the numbers v x and y let us assume that x is a greater number the first case however suggests that the sum of two numbers is 15 so the sum of two number whenever you sum two number you will get 15 this becomes our first equation similarly the second condition suggest us that if the greater number is 9 more than that of the smaller number let us assume that x is the greater number the greater number x is 9 more than that of the smaller number so 9 more than that of the smaller number whenever you add 9 to the smaller number you get the greater number so this becomes our equation 2 now if you substitute the value of x to the equation 1 we get instead of x now i can write 9 plus y so 9 plus y plus y equals to 15 or 2y equals to 15 minus 9 or y equals to 6 over 2 which is 3 now if you substitute the value of y in equation 2 we got y equal to 3 if you substitute in equation 2 you got x equal to 3 plus y I mean to say 9 plus y so 9 plus 3 would be 12 so our numbers are 12 and 3 these are the required numbers now let us see relatively tougher examples regarding two digit problem in this problem in a two digit number the tenth place digit is twice the digit at one place whereas the digits of the number reversed when 27 is subtracted from the original number find the original number that's our question so whenever you are given a problem regarding two digits you should assume the two digit numbers to be 10 x plus y before proceeding further let me make you clear why we assume the number to be 10 x plus y for two digits because any two digit number is suppose let us say 27 it consists of one place this 7 is in one place whereas this 2 is in 10th place so if i gonna write this number as 10 x plus y my x term would be 2 whereas my y term would be 7 so that if you multiply 10 x is 2 plus y is 7 then i would get 20 plus 7 equals to 27 so this is why we assume the two digit number to be 10 x plus y because the two digit number consists of 10th place and one place so the 10th digit is this one whereas the one digit is this one if the number is supposed to be of three digits instead of two digits you would write 100 x plus 10 y plus z this g would be suppose i have a number 136 now my x is 1 my y is 3 and my z is 6 if you replace the value of x y and g you would get the same number let us do that so 
100 my x is 1 plus 10 times my y is 3 whereas my z is 6 now if you add 100 plus 30 plus 6 how much you got you got 136 so the 10 so the three digit number if you want to do a problem regarding three digits you will have this assumed for solving since we are only dealing with two digit number our two digit number would be 10x plus y so eventually we find the digit x and digit y then eventually we replace the value of x and y in this two digit number in order to get the original number and all the problem regarding two digits questions will ask you to find the original number once you find the 10 digits and the one digits then put the value back in the 10x plus y to get the answer now let us proceed with this example so the question tells us that in a two digit number let let a two digit number v 10x plus y now the tenth place digit is x whereas the one place digit is y so the tenth place digit which is x so x is twice the digit at one place so it is twice the digit at one place which is y so x equals to 2y is our first equation from the first given condition whereas the digit of the number get reverse so our original number is this the question tells us that the number reversed its position it becomes 10 y plus x it reverses the 10th and 1th place digit but when when 27 is subtracted from the original number so 27 is subtracted from the original number so this becomes our second condition now you can easily solve this let me do it here so 10x minus x would be 9x minus 9y equals to 27 I hope you got this part because once I add negative x to both sides so it becomes 9x over here then after I subtract y from both sides to get 9y on this side equals to 27 it's a very simple procedure I hope everybody can do it quite easily so if I take 9 common from here I would get x minus y equals to 27 on dividing both sides with 9 I would get x minus y equals to 27 over 9 which is 3 let me write it as equation 2 now I can use the method of substitution uh, substituting x equal to 2y in equation 2 let's do it together so x is 2y minus y equals to 3 2y minus y would be y equals to 3 on substituting y equal to 3 over here you would get x equals to 2 times y is 3 so it's 6 so what is our required number the required number is 10x plus y 10 10 our x value is 6 plus our y value is 3 10 times 6 is 60 plus 3 is 63 which is our required two digit number that's how we do this kind of problem now let us see another problem so in this problem our two digit number is seven times the sum of its digit the digit got reversed when 36 is subtracted from the original number find the original number 
So, let us again assume that our two digit number let the two digit two digit number v 10 x plus y. Now, the question suggests us that a two digit number is seven times a two digit number is 10 x plus y. 10 x plus y is 7 times is 7 times the sum of its digits. So, what are the digits x and y are the digits. So, sum of the digits if you multiply that by 7 you would get the number. So, this is our first condition. Let us proceed further 10 x plus y equals to 7 times x is 7 x plus 7 times y is 7 y or if I subtract 7 x from both sides 7 x would be disappearing on right hand side whereas uh, over here it would be 10 x minus 7 x which would give me 3 x. Similarly, if I subtract y from both sides I would get 6y on dividing both sides by 3 I would get x equals to 6y over 3 which is 2y. Let me write this as equation 1. Similarly, the second condition suggests us that the digit got reversed. Before it is to be 10x plus y now the digit got reversed. So, it becomes 10y plus x instead of 10 x plus y when the digit got reversed it will become 10 y plus x. But when does it happen so when 36 is subtracted from the original number. So, 36 is subtracted from the original number our original number is 10 x plus y whenever we subtract 36 whenever we subtract 36 from the original number we got the reversed digit number which is 10 y plus x. Now, on solving it I will have 10 y plus x equals to 10 x plus y minus 36. Now, if I bring all the variable to the left hand side it will happens as negative 9x minus plus 9y equals to negative 36. Now, if I divide by a 9 on both sides, I would get negative x plus y equals to negative 4. Now, I can substitute the value x as 2y. So, negative x is 2y plus y equals to negative 4 or negative y equals to negative 4. So, that my y value is 4. Similarly, if I put the y value on equation 1, I would get 2 times my y value is 4 which is 8. So, what is the required number? The required number is 10 x plus y. So, the required number is 10 x plus y. So, 10 my x value is 8 plus my y value is 4. So, 10 times 8 is 80 plus 4 which is 84. So, the number is 84, the two digit number is 84. Now, let us do our final problem regarding two digit number. In this problem, the sum of digits of two digit number is 9. If the original number is multiplied by 3, it equals the 8 times the number formed by interchanging the digits of the original number find the original number. So, let the number be let the number be 10 x plus y. This is our required number, but the first condition allows us to think that if the original number which is 10 x plus y. 
if the original number is multiplied by 3 it equals so it equals the 8 times so 8 times the number formed by interchanging the digits so what number from if you interchange the digits it becomes 10 y plus x so this is the first condition from this sentence so what happens is 10 x plus y times 3 must be equal to 8 times 10 y plus x now on simplifying it 30 x plus 3 y equals to 80 y plus 8 x so 30 x minus 8 x would be 22 x similarly 80 minus 3 would be 77 y but if I subtract 77 y from both sides I would get 77 negative y over here which would give me equals to 0 let us say this as equation 1 similarly the first case over here suggests that the sum of the digits of a two digit number sum of the digits of a two digit number so the two digit number is 10 x plus y but what are the two digits in it x and y so x plus y equals to 9 this should be our second equation but on solving for x i would get x as 9 minus y if i use the method of substitution and substitute the value of x over here as 9 minus y minus 77 y equals to 0 or 22 times 9 is 198 minus 22 y minus 77 y equals to 0 or 22 plus 77 both are negative would be equals to negative 99 y so negative 99 y plus 198 equals to 0 or 99 y equals to 198 therefore y equals to 198 over 99 I believe it is 2 yes it is because 198 over 99 is 2 so my x value would be 9 minus my y value y value is 2 which would give me 7 so the number is 10 x plus y the number is 10 x plus y 10 my x value is nothing but 7 plus my y value is 2 so 10 times 7 is 70 plus 2 is 72 so the required number is 72 this is how we do this kind of problem i hope this video helps you understand to grab the basic concepts of a two digit number also if you have not yet subscribed my channel i hope you do so and also hit the bell icon so that you never miss my future videos thank you once again Stay safe and healthy.